What's up? I'm Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be taking you through Ear Trumpet. What is it? How does it work? And how do we install it? This isn't a sponsored video or anything. It's just a useful piece of software that I personally use as I just despise the new Windows 11 sound managing system that much. Obviously, the built-in one, you click the little sound button, or rather not the sound button, but the right side of this little information thing down here. And sometimes it'll bring up the right thing. Otherwise, right click, open volume mixer, it pulls up a whole settings window. It's just needlessly bloated. I much prefer the previous start R sound vol sound mixer that looked something like this, just making it incredibly easy to use and interact with. You can change sound devices, etc. The new one is just too big, too clunky, and I can't put it comfortably on a different screen. So without further ado, preparing for the flashbang, ear trumpet. There's multiple ways to install it. You can use Chonklity or install it from the Microsoft Store. If you have Chonklity, simply inside of a terminal, run Choco install ear trumpet. Otherwise, you can install it from the Microsoft Store, just clicking install here, then confirming it and eventually opening it. All right, so when the program opens, you won't exactly know what's happened, if anything. What do you need to do? Well, if you look in the extreme bottom right of your system, in the start bar, you'll see a new sound icon. If you don't, check the little pop-up here and see if it's hiding in here somewhere. If it is, just drag it out and drop it somewhere on your bottom bar. Unfortunately, we can't hide the old one. I would very much like it if there was some way to do so, but for now we can't. You'll just have two icons, which is annoying, but it's necessary, I suppose. And if you turn down the volume on one, it changes on both of these, so it doesn't really look too distracting. It's just a bit weird that you have two of them. This one being the default Windows one, and this one being an actually functional button. If we click this, it pulls up this nice little window over here. We can change the volume for all different programs, see the left and right channel volumes, etc., and change the sound device at the very top, or rather expand it to show everything. This is super powerful. You can scroll by hovering over on the far right side, and that's that. You can also right click this icon and you have a huge number of options. Not only can you change your default device by clicking one of the options here, but under volume mixer, you can pull up a much improved window like this. As you can see, it's similar to the Windows 11 one, except just not as annoying to use. It's much more compact and I very much prefer this. You can scroll between all your audio devices, change the volumes of everything and see the volumes of each program individually very quickly. And it's just a super nice interface to push onto another screen. Alternatively, if you prefer the old default Windows one, right click the icon and under Windows Legacy, you have a bunch of options. Volume Mixer is the one you're probably looking for. It's this one over here. It's the same one that I ran with Start and R, Sound, Vol as such. Anyways, if we right click it, Windows Legacy, you'll also have a second volume mixer, though I think this is just a glitch. Anyways, it brings up the default new one, which I just despise. Then we also have playback, recording, sounds and sound settings, which all open up different tabs in this little pop-up over here. Playback, recording and sounds. You can adjust your sound settings, sample rate, etc. here. Same as old Windows. We can also right click Windows Legacy and click Sound Settings, which pulls up the new sound settings like this. But of course, alternatively, you can get to it by right clicking the default Windows one and Sound Settings. Yep, it's pretty annoying to have two duplicate things and there's not much we can do about it, to be honest. If you know of a way of hiding this little sound icon, the default one for Windows, please do let me know and I'll make sure to include it in the description down below. But for now, just having a second one that's infinitely more functional is just something that we'll have to live with. But anyways, that's really about it. It's a super quick guide, not sponsored or anything. I just use this tool more often than I do the default built-in Windows one. Why am I still on Windows 11? I, I don't know. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao. Also, a huge shout out to my first ultimate sponsor, KZ.